Prosperity Heart Tips Vera. You know, I've spoken about the mind and how powerful the mind is, particularly when, well, when we have these fear-based scenarios that it creates to keep us stuck in our comfort zones and it stops us achieving what it is that we say we would love. Now, what we have to remember though is well, we can use our mind to our advantage. It can actually be the best tool possible to help us, well, create and live the life that we would truly love. You see, the mind doesn't know the difference between something that's real and what I call real in the physical sense or what's imagined. So try this experiment with me. So I want you to close your eyes. I invite you to close your eyes and picture yourself walking into your local greengrocer. So that could be a little greengrocer on its own, whether it's a section of the supermarket, but something that you're familiar with. Just picture in your mind walking in to where all of those wonderful fruits and vegetables are stored. Walk around the various stands and stalls, breathe in the various aromas and, and notice a big tray of lemons. Walk up to those lemons, have a good look at those beautiful, bright yellow skins, pick up a lemon, bring it to your nose, breathe in deeply, breathe in its scent. Then notice that on that same tray, there are a number of lemon wedges and pick up one of those wedges, look at it, smell it, put it in your mouth and take a bite. So what just happened? Now, if you immersed yourself fully in that imaginary exercise, you'll find that your saliva glands were activated. There was a physical response in your body. And really, you may have actually just like cringed your face, just picturing and imagining that sour taste of that lemon. And that's the power of the imagination. You see, when we picture something vividly in our minds, it activates a response in our bodies. So when we have a vivid image of something that we would love to create, when we put ourselves imaginally into that image, our mind doesn't know the difference that it's not actually here in the physical. It sees it in the imagination and it begins to activate different responses in the body. It activates different thinking patterns. It activates different behaviors. You suddenly find yourself taking different actions. You find your mind, that filtering process kicks in and your mind will start looking for all the opportunities and situations that are associated with what it is that you have imagined. Now, just as the mind works in the negative with those negative scenarios where the, the picture is a negative one and it will activate all sorts of responses to keep you stuck in your comfort zone. If you direct your mind via your imagination, via your visions, what it is you focus on, you can direct your mind to activate your body's responses, your thinking responses, your behavioral responses to support you in getting out of your comfort zone and actually stepping into that life that you have imagined. Your mind doesn't know the difference. Perhaps it's time to direct your mind into creating something you would love. And I'll catch you next time.